Hello, sweet souls. It's Monday, April 11th, and this will be your full length reading. Um, I will post to YouTube. Um, we're just gonna call on St. Michael first. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone can yell will through that word or action toward myself or the viewer. And we're just gonna ask the Holy Spirit, angels and saints, what we need to know. I'm not gonna ask anything specific. Um, just what we need to know for our greater good. Wow, that's too many. Okay, so you're coming out of this period of feeling like you have been trapped. Um, this can be within your own mind in a situation. You're coming out of that. Um, you've done a lot of self-reflection. You've been in hermit mode. So you have really gone within and found the wisdom and knowledge that you need to get out of this energy. Now, there is someone from the past that wants to rush in and wants to heal the relationship, whatever that was to you, whether this is a friendship or a love relationship. Um, someone from the past wants to come in and heal the relationship. Hmm. Problem is, this person knows that they're in toxic energy, but they know that you are their happiness. Could be Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone that's very passion-driven. They want victory with you. This person wants to come in um, and have victory because they see you as their complete emotional fulfillment. You make them happy. But, you know, this looks like this was a relationship that you ended due to deception. So you have your walls up with this person because you closed the cycle out and you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready to take a brand new leap of faith in a different direction. Yeah, you healed yourself. And because of that, you have a wish fulfillment coming in. Yeah. So they're saying this was... Um, a lot of injustice that was done here. And this had to do with a family unit, the breakdown of a family unit. And, you know, you want complete wish fulfillment. You want your wishes to come in and you know that this, this person didn't, didn't bring you wish fulfillment. There was, yeah, there was too much pain. Ten of swords sideways, overcoming a very painful situation. And now you're a missed opportunity. You're a missed opportunity for this person. Because they didn't do the right thing. I do see them being hit by karma because they, they made no decision. They took no action. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of anxiety here um, on this person's end. Um, yeah. A lot of anxiety because this was a relationship that was destroyed because this person refused to listen to their intuition and do the right thing. Yeah, so... You know, this person, like I said, they're very unbalanced. They played the victim, and you had to choose yourself. You had to save yourself. Yeah, and love yourself. This was a karmic soul connection. This comes out all the time. You are the empress, and divine love is coming in for you, as well as financial stability, and this person has to watch. This is part of their karma. I'm going to get from another deck real quick, guys, and see what comes out. Yeah, this person wants to come in and express love to you. Um, they're surrounded by so much internal and external conflict because of the choices they've made. Um, lies, secrets, deception. You know, you made the decision to choose yourself to move on with your life and you're being gifted with the Ten of Pentacles, someone that will build a stable foundation with you, that um, this will be an abundant lifestyle. This is financial abundance. This is also someone you can count on, you can trust that will build you up. You are in this um, lady or man of luxury, Nine of Pentacles, someone that's proud, confident, independent, and you, with God's help, can take care of yourself financially. You're very confident. You love yourself now. Yeah, you put in the work. Um, the investments that you've put in towards yourself is about to pay off. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, you're in this Queen of Swords energy, cutting off anyone and everyone that um, is not in alignment with you. If you can't resonate with their energy, you just move on. Um, you were deeply wounded in the past, but you used all of that wisdom that you gained um, to move on and to heal. What is this? What is this? Yeah, there, there is a sudden change that's coming in. Um, and it's, it comes in after this period of isolation, this, this hermit mode that you've been in. Uh, someone that was a coward doesn't want the cycle to end. And like, they're just watching, watching and waiting because they see you're the empress. Whether you're a man or a woman, they see you in your power. They see how abundant you are. They can see that you, you vibrate really high. You have so much pride and confidence in yourself. You love yourself. And now this person, whoever this person is, recognizes your value. They're in lower vibration. They're coming out as a page of wands. Uh, immature, passion-driven energy that doesn't want it to end. Death in reverse. Again. But you already know this about this person. You're not about to let this person come in and out of your life using temptation. You don't need it. You're not interested because they're toxic and you know this. Yeah, you know, you've moved away. They don't want you to move away. They don't want it to be over, but there's been no change in this person's energy. Yeah, they threw away their own stability. Due to deception and deceit, lies, cheating. Yeah, they broke their own heart. They broke their own heart. Due to third party interference. Yeah, they're just saying, yeah, this person chose to give their time and attention elsewhere and they ended up hurting themselves. Yeah, you release them due to deceit, deception, lies, cheating. Sneaking around behind your back. Because now you're the empress. You know. You know how valuable you are. Yeah. You are divinely protected. And you're being guided on a brand new path. A new journey. You're putting in the work to yourself. And it's going to pay off. You are the star. You're in the limelight. You've taken your power back. You've healed. You're in control of your life. And you're calling in a soulmate that is in your energy. And it is. It's at your level. It's divinely guided. And it's coming in quick. You know, this had to happen in order for you to love yourself, to know your value. You had to experience this. And this person has to experience this too in hopes that they will change, but they have free will. So, okay, guys, I love you. I hope this reading helps someone. Bye-bye.